been busy learning to use my CNC machine this month. It's got a bit of a learning curve, so while I'm almost there, I'm not quite ready to show you my new skills yet. But with all the time I've been spending on it, I haven't had the time to make any new gadgets for Momo, and she's been getting a little bored. So today, with the help of my friends at JLC PCB, I'm going to whip up something a little silly for her. And while I'm at it, unbox a new 3D printer Creality Sandover, the Ender 3 Max. Let's get to it! One more down, go down. Go down, I need to unbox the thing. One more bye, go down. I need to unbox the 3D printer. One more, one more down. One more down. One more down, I need to unbox the 3D printer. Okay, all right, one more. I'm going to... Thank you very much, miss. Get out of the way, Momo. Momo. Thank you, Momo. Thank you, thank you. Got to get get off get off the printer, Momo. Get off the printer. Get off the printer. Come over here, Momo. Good girl. No, no, no. Let's see what we got. That's much easier because usually I have to leap up the bottom and then put the screw from the bottom and now you can just bolt it down like this. Okay, spoiler, it's an Ender 3, but bigger. That's basically it. For those of you who don't know, the Creality Ender 3 is the best-selling 3D printer in the world. It's known for being a great value and having great out-of-the-box prints. As always, I'm sponsored by Creality, so don't take my word for it. Ask around and check with other review channels. One downside to the original Ender 3 is the bed is just a test small. The Ender
the free max adjust the step with a 300 by 300 by 400 print area it also has a metal extruder which is nice because the plastic one is usually the first thing to fail now i'd like to test this out and make a little something for momo momo is the sweetest dog and never makes a fuss unless you leave her alone for more than a few minutes if you do she'll just howl with all her heart until you come back now there are no bad dogs of course just poorly trained ones or ones with traits that are inconvenient momo is a pack animal she gets separated from her pack well she got the howl so they can find her right she's doing her job as a husky she's trying to help me find her but if I have to go visit a factory for a couple hours and can't take her with me. I need her to be not quite so good at being a husky and not how quite so much. So I'm going to try and invent some silly things to distract her while I'm away. As we all know, positive reinforcement is best. Please remember, shock colors are not just crude, they are also not effective and should never be used on your pet. What I'm going to do is give more and more something to chew on and play with, but not if she barks. I have an idea for how the circuit is going to work and my friends at JLCPCB sent me over the board and components that I asked for. I've also drawn up a mount for the device in Tinkercad. While it 3D prints, I'm going to solder the parts to the board and make sure everything works. The circuit on the wall and I got Momo's favorite treat, beef trachea. This is beef trachea and the idea is if she starts barking, the motor is going to lift the treat up, hopefully out of her reach, but no matter what, at the end she's going to get her treat. Uh, I put the pulley all the way up there and uh, once I turn it on, turn the power on, If I talk, it goes up slowly, like this. The pulley is pulling the tree up, but if I stop talking, the pulley lowers the trick down again. Okay, I'm going to get one more in and see how she reacts to this device, but I, then I'm going upstairs 
to turn on the IP camera to monitor her from there. Obviously, this is a little bit dodgy. If Momo starts to get a little stress, I will run downstairs right away and just take off the tree and give it to her. You know, I love Momo more than anything in the world, so I don't want her to be upset or anything. But let's test it. She's looking around and <laughs> doing circles. Oh, I think it got stuck for a minute. Oh, oh, almost. Almost, almost. Come on, Momo. Come on. Oh, wow. She almost got it, but <laughs> it bounced back. Oh, come on. Do another spin. Oh, again? She kind of walks like a human now, you know, when she put her paws on the wall and stuff like She must be thinking, when will the trees come down? Okay, I think that's enough for her. I'm going down to just give her the tree. Okay, one more. That's enough fun for you. Okay, you can have it now. Ooh, look what is this? Unfortunately, the motor burned out and this is not the same setup if I'm not in the same room with her. But I think it proved the concept that it's fun for her and if I wasn't in the same room, then if sometimes I need to work in another room, this will keep her busy, keep her entertained. I think I can make something else improve this design and then try another test on her but today that's enough for her now she can enjoy her beef trachea how do you like that momo you like it you like it i hope you enjoy that don't worry momo loves these little projects and gets a bit sulky if too many days go by and i don't have something new to keep her entertained the great part is that between 3d printing and low-cost PCB prototyping from JLC PCB, playing around with ideas like this is cheap and easy. And if you do it often enough, usually, eventually you come up with something that works. As for the Ender 3 Max, not a whole lot to say. It prints exactly like an Ender 3. It's just larger. And like the Ender 3, it's a great printer for the price. I can certainly recommend it. Thanks to everyone for supporting me and more and more and for your patience with my update schedule. That's it for today. I, I'll see you all soon. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.